material need for the pumpkin is a piece of 16 gauge or 18 gauge steel measuring at 16 inches by 16 inches square and an 18 inch long piece of quarter inch round bar. The tools you're going to need for this project are a grinder, a wire wheel, cut off wheel, small or large, a square, something to mark your material with, and a hammer. Also make sure when you're doing any cutting or any grinding you wear all your safety equipment. You can choose to MIG weld or TIG weld this project and for me I'm going to use my Millermatic 211 MIG welder. Using your square, mark and cut your material 16 inches long and an inch and a half wide, we're going to cut six strips that size. Once you're done cutting your strips, you're going to want to take a flap disc or a sanding disc and you're going to want to clean these edges. You're going to want to deburr them. They should be soft to the touch. You should be able to run your hand over them without getting cut. Be very careful doing this. Once you find the shape that you like, go ahead and set that there, use that for a template, make the same shape with the other five pieces. Now that we have all our shapes bent, you can take two of them and you want to kind of fit them up so that they're exactly the same. Set them like this and you're going to get an idea of what your pumpkin is going to look like. Make sure that that bottom right here kind of curls in a little bit. That way, like when the top touches, the bottom is still curled up. That way when the pumpkin sits on the table, it's not going to go rolling away on you. Lay it on the side, butt the two bottom pieces up together, and you're going to place a small tack weld on the top and on the bottom of each side. If you're MIG welding, be very careful because this is thin material. It just needs a little tack. So because you have six pieces, we're going to put these on in six. six six that's a thing so you want to take once you have your first loop done you're going to take two more and you're going to see how they lay out on here to get it so that they're even and you're going to go from the corner here these corners back to point get yourself close get an idea where it's going to be and then you're going to tack weld the top on each corner and you're going to go down into the bottom and do the same thing and those you'll be able to move it you'll move it a little bit and tack weld once on each corner there also. Repeat the same thing on the other side with the last two strips. For your stem, we're going to take the remainder of the material. We are going to cut a piece that is three inches wide by six and a half inches long. Mark it with your chalk or your marker. Draw a line and just like before, go in with the cutoff wheel, cut it and deburr all the edges. So the idea with this piece is to curve it and make it into the stem of your pumpkin. Yeah, we can just bend it like this. Look at how nice that works. Nice smooth bend. Get that moving like that. I'm gonna get it started. Use the handle of your hammer where you can just put it on there and same thing by hand curl that around. So go ahead and mess around with that, form it, get it back around to the shape that you like using something round and then you can either continue curling it inside in a spiral or you can cut off where you want it to end. So now that I've got this spiraled around, I've got one side clamped on the outside and I'm taking my welpers I'm holding on to the inside and I'm twisting and I'm pulling just a little bit and it's going to give me, I'm not sure it's clamped in there really good, it's going to give me a little spiral out like the top of a pumpkin stem. Find which way your stem fits on your pumpkin. You might come over here and there'll be a big gap in the bottom, but if you turn it just a little bit, it literally just has a little way that 
way the bottom is done that it sits right there. Now I've screwed mine up. There we go. I like, I like to lean just a little bit. There we go. So once you get that, place three small tack welds around the base of the stem to weld it to the pumpkin. I'm going to take this as an old plant hanger, 5 8 inch um, round, and I'm going to weld it to my bench. I'm also going to weld this to the bench on the bottom to hold the bottom, and I'm just going to, like using a long piece, I'm going to start spinning this around here until I can't spin anymore. Let's see if it works. There it is, by hand. So now I just go and cut the bottom off of each one and we'll have a little spiral piece to put off our pumpkin and we can actually cut it in half and have two spirals to put off a pumpkin. So as you can see, I've gone in now, I've cut that spiral in half and I've tapered the end using my grinding disc. Before I weld these on, I'm going to take a wire brush or you can go in with your surface conditioning disc and you want to clean all that weld discoloration and any weld spatter off of your project now so that once this is in here, you don't have to really work around it. Once you get that done, go ahead and place your little spirals. Just place them however you want, whatever looks good to you. And just simply place two tack welds, one on either side of the base of the spiral. And then finish the whole project up by wire brushing it clean and getting any weld discoloration or weld spatter off. Super fun and easy project. It makes a great gift for someone for Thanksgiving. It's also just a very little material to make something that's super cool. And again, you saw how I really just experimented with how to get this corkscrew. I've never done that before. And simply by welding it and welding it around or just wrapping it around the other bar, it let me get that. Listen, I experiment with stuff. It's fun. That's the best part to do with your art is just try different stuff and experiment. Some stuff works and some stuff you learn. So happy welding, y'all.